Hey everyone, my name is Wellens, and we are gonna check out Coffee Talk today, a coffee brewing and heart-to-heart -heart talking simulator about listening to fantasy-inspired modern people's problems and helping them by serving up a warm drink or two. This game seems conceptually similar to Valhalla or Red Strings Club, but we're serving people coffee instead of alcohol. Personally, I don't really like coffee or alcohol really, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> What's your name? Wellens. Seattle, 2020. You can see the Space Needle right here. A city filled with dreams and madness. A time when the Great War between races is but a footnote in history. I wish. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. And have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. But still, it's a place and time where anything can happen. It is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. And when humans live among them, as driven as ever. It's a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. So there's actual different races here. Orcs, dwarves. Most of these stories are left untold. But some of you find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop. A place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. A coffee shop only open at night? Hmm. Huh. A place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. The shop is literally called Coffee Talk. Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. Drown your troubles in coffee. Seems kind of like a hipster coffee shop already. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, it's you. Freya. Hey, Wellens. How's the night so far? It's calm as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. Huh? What happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. <laughs> that's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. You are our first customer, after all. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. So, I'm used to taking things slow. Huh, <laughs> writer's block again? You got that right. What are you writing now? Do you remember my plan to... Somebody walked in? Ah. Pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. Do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. <sighs> triple shot espresso, okay. Uh, we got coffee, green tea, matcha, cocoa powder, and milk. And all of these have elements. Warm, cool, sweet, bitter, base. 
<laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I know nothing about coffee. My phone. Hmm. Oh. Tomodachi. I'm guessing this is like a friend app. Tomodachi means friend in Japanese. Freya. Birthday. 29 January. Oh, that's the release date of the game. Hmm. Writer for the Evening Whispers. Talks about mundane things. Art. Life in general. But it seems like we're not really friends. Not yet anyway. Georgie. Uh, that's a reference to Papers, Please, right? Georgie? <laughs> Seattle Police Department. <laughs> it looks like the same guy, kind of. June 1st. We don't really know him. Gala. Hmm. Mysterious guy. Good with animals. Okay. A lot of different coffees. Espresso. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Blacker than a moonless night. Hotter and more bitter than hell itself. <laughs> so do I just put coffee three times? Primary? Secondary? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing at all. What about the triple shot part? Uh, okay. Oh, what's this? No. Like, the triple means coffee, coffee, coffee. That part's a triple part, right? One cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer tonight. Mmm, that aroma. Ah, <sighs> exactly what I need. Anyway, where were we? Your plan to do something? Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know. But it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job. In case things go awry. Yeah, that's the best time to do something else, because you don't have to worry about putting food on the table. <laughs> uh, did I say something wrong? No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about, myself. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? GRA Media, right? Yes. And they are also the biggest book publisher in the country. So, when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well... I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So naturally, I pitched my book idea. Literal elevator pitch. How'd it go? <laughs> okay. <sighs> Come on. Don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. What? No! You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So, how did they react? Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories. So, he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings and get the Fiction Publishing Division to sign me up for a publishing deal. That sounds great. See? Not a stupid idea after all. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours. And I'm falling behind on the newspaper's deadlines. Oh, that's not good. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. The thing about writing is that it's not really the kind of thing where, okay, I'll put in 10 hours into the thing and I'll be done chapter 1 and 2. 
it kind of varies, right? <clears throat> that was last week. Oh. Again? Don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Uh... <laughs> I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero. Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Um, well... It was so bad that, well, after reading it... I decided to just delete everything immediately. What? No, don't do that. I'm not a writer and even I know that the first draft is never, like, the perfect thing. You gotta keep it so that you can improve on it. Why would you do that? So... Zero? <laughs> no, she just didn't write anything to begin with. <sighs> yes. I really need to finish it in, at most, two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you can pull it off. I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know? Really? Glad this place could be of service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. Hello, welcome. Oh my god, did you see her phone? It had little horns on it, just like her. That's so cute. Hi there. Hello. Good evening. For here, miss? Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? Hmm, that depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. Not planning to be awake all night. So, definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? It's perfect for this weather. It's very rainy today. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with chocolate in, please. Okay, can we just dump all the chocolate in there? Is that alright? By the way, what is this? Oh, it's a chat log, okay. This one is the menu. Alright, coo, coo. We will look in the brew pad for something chocolatey. Not cappuccino. What are these tabs? Oh, maybe like, this is coffee? Because it's like a coffee bean? And then this one's green tea based stuff, or... Actually, I don't know. I got no idea. Mmm, something chocolatey. What about dark chocolate? Would that be too chocolatey? I hope not. Before we're done here, I want to look at the rest of this. Um, oh no, that's what we just looked at. And then... Tomoda Chill. Something updated here, but I don't think I can see it. Yeah, maybe because we're not friends enough yet. And then in here, I can actually press on the thing. A warm and calming darkness. Yeah, we'll just read it when we make it. Shuffled. Like Spotify. Okay, coo. Coo, coo, coo. The evening whispers. Your free trial will start tomorrow. Thank you for subscribing to our fiction plan free trial. Okay, so nothing today yet. Alright, back to the chocolate here. Anything with chocolate in it. How much are they paying for this, I wonder? It's me dumping a bunch of chocolate into a cup and putting hot water inside pretty much. One cup of chocolatey goodness. Thank you. Look! Look at her phone! <sighs> so warm. So, you're waiting for your boyfriend? Yes, he should be here soon. <laughs> Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded. 
considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. Because it's the only coffee shop that still opens past midnight, it's mostly empty. Now that you mention it, is it good for business, having the coffee shop only open at night? <laughs> Definitely not! Yup, what she said. Do I own the place, or am I just a barista? Then why? I just love doing it. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. <laughs> That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking. But how can you survive? running the coffee shop like this. That's a secret. Wellens here is damn rich, that's a secret. Oh, really? She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it, Wellens can manage. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. So you'll still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. Hmm. I do like how even my customers are interacting. Because I usually get the impression that it's more of a one-on-one -on -one thing, but it's like a three people, three friends talking to each other now. I like it. I'm a writer who works best at night and in a coffee shop. Not so many options for that. Ah, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know? You can find some of her stories in the Evening Whispers. Oh, shut up! Wow, that's really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? <laughs> Thank you! I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then, are you here to write a new piece? <sighs> I should be. But I don't even know what to write about. Ooh, hello. Welcome. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. This guy looks like maybe an elf? And then this girl... Is she like a subspecies of elf that has horns? And then she's obviously human. And then I'm... I don't know what I am. Hi there. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? Hmm... Surprise me. What kind of order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something bitter to keep me awake with milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on the top. Oh, that's fancy. Milk, but bitter. So coffee and milk? Coffee and milk. What about a cappuccino? Or cafe latte? Oh, he said latte art. But I can draw latte art on the cappuccino too, right? Italian delight. A caffeine boost dominated by milk. Mm, you want to be awake, so maybe the cappuccino instead of the latte? I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah? I guess? Are we gonna get to do the latte art part two? Oh my god. Better be charging extra for this. <gasps> what do I do? I don't know how to do anything. Pour milk? Oh my god! Uh... <laughs> uh, it's happy. Etch? What the hell is etch? Oh, okay. I feel like you didn't really teach me how to do anything. What am I... Oh, Etch Kanam. Oh, 
Maybe that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> this is kind of like a clown now. Invert? What the hell's invert? Like the direction? Clockwise or counterclockwise? I'm not sure. <laughs> well, I hope they like this. Something to keep you awake. Here's your order. <laughs> Is this what you call latte art? That's cute. Ouch. Perfect. Anyway, I was distracted by some work. Plus, there is a rain. It's okay, Baileys. I was having a nice chat with them. Oh yeah, I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Baileys. Oh my, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. Hi, I'm Freya. Nice to meet you both, I'm Wellens. Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh, really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh? What kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. I've done some caricatures and infographics for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve? Yup, he's a nice guy to work with. <laughs> oh, really? Hmm... <laughs> no, he isn't. <laughs> But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. <laughs> Come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. <laughs> How do you usually deal with bad customers here? Hmm, the only bad customers is late at night are lost drunks or criminals. That sounds really bad. Nah, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fists. Not as good as your coffee making skill, though. Thank you, I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Whatever it is that I'm gonna write. So, I'll leave you two. In the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. Where are you gonna write? Oh, not far. Just over there, at the table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. <laughs> I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. Should we move to other seats too? Nah, here is good. Okay then. So, how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. Am I just kind of eavesdropping on their conversation now? I finished my proposal early, so I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today, he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one is a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that wouldn't help me one bit. <laughs> you should make a meme about her. And lose my current project for a minute of laughter? <laughs> that might be worth it. You should ask Wellens here about how to deal with annoying clients. Oh yeah? How do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones you don't need your fists to take care of. I do have my own methods. But it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. 
Yeah, privacy and discretion. Now that's one good lesson to learn for the day. Mm. Pick up the phone. Nobody wants to pick it up? Your parents? <sighs> yes. So you've talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot. Does she have some problems at home? With the boyfriend? Yeah... Um, they won't give us a chance at all? Anyone but an elf. Okay, so she's not an elf. They had really similar ears, so I thought she might have been an elf too, but the horns make it different. That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. They kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. I can't stand even one more second of being a part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still... You don't know what they said about you last night. I don't think you need to say that part. I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume. Forget it. I want to know. Oh, just the same old shit. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures. About our immortality. Really? About how even if I outlive you. What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me... No other elves would want to be with an elf. That's already been tainted by a lowly succubus? Oh, she's a succubus. Hmm, race problems? Like, the fact that it's different races is already a problem. But different characteristics, differing lifespans, that's something to think about too. That's exactly what they said. So this is it then. The end of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been. You can, but it's painful because what happens if somebody sees you on the streets, like your family, and what happens when you want to get married? It's hard, without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know. We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You'll lose your immortality. Oh, so that wasn't even a figure of speech. That's for real. If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. Hmm... Losing immortality because he chooses to be with a succubus? Is that like a societal thing or some sort of a physical limitation? <sighs> you're making this hard for the both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. Mm, I admire your optimism, but there's going to be so many obstacles. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Lua, wait! Hmm. I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. Yeah, that was kind of very eavesdroppy. 
I feel like if that happened in real life, I probably should have moved away to somewhere else already. But it's a coffee shop with three people in it, and one person's writing, so we were bound to hear that conversation anyway. That's all right. This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. Huh, I hope so too. Do you have any alcohol? Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? Do you like green tea lattes? Green tea lattes? I'll take one. Do you want latte art on this one? <laughs> I'm not very good at it. Lua, biz dev lead at Discovery National Capital. You guys don't sound like... Oh, that's in French, what the heck? Uh, you guys don't sound like... You're young? Like, not super young. Business development lead. Freelance designer. So I kind of do get the impression maybe you don't need to care about your family's opinions that much, because you're your own independent person and all. But maybe elves and succubuses are really close to their families. We don't really know, and it's never nice to cut off a family, no matter for what reason. Green tea latte! Both are sweet and savory, with a hint of bitterness for the heart. Green tea? Milk milk. Uh... Do, how do I make one that's like that? I'll do one for you on the house, but I just wonder, like, how do you... How do I do anything? I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> That's kind of what I've seen on TV. They go up and down and like, I don't know. Stretch it out a little bit. I'm still not sure what invert does. Does it just go the other way? Do they have a tutorial here that I'm missing? Because as far as I can see, they're not giving me any direction about the latte art. <laughs> yeah, that really ain't working. Oh well, I tried. Here's your green tea latte. This is good. Thank you for this. By the way, are you married? Me? No. Do you have someone you love? I love this coffee shop. But I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. <laughs> I didn't really have any expectations. Man, out of all people in the whole world, why did I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with. You can, if you try hard enough. At least, that's what my old man said. He really is one pretentious elf. But I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. Well, at least you have an eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an eternal asshole. Anyway, I need to go now. And probably drink myself under until the sun rises. There's still a while until sunrise. More time for me to drink then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do visit again. It must be really late at night. It's usually at a coffee shop. I get more the impression that people don't really care about each other, but everyone's all chatty. Everyone wants somebody to talk about or uh, somebody to hear out their problems. You were listening from the corner? To get some inspiration? Yes. Poor souls. I hope they find a way to be together. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm gonna close up the shop after this. That's pretty early. I know, but I'm tired. After the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, 
I'll open as usual. Okay, you have a good night then. You too. Did you even get any writing done? I hope so. Chai Adeni, sweet spicy chai latte from the town of Aden, Yemen. Mmm, okay, so this goes by days. I guess we'll check out what's happening in the beginning of today. Let's see what opening up shop looks like first. The evening whispers, free of charge, Wednesday. Zombie virus from Africa may have reached Seattle. Oh, kind of strangely relevant. Seattle groceries distribution problems harm local restaurants. Fire plans to enforce stricter regulations to manage illegal immigration. Hmm, okay. So immediately, you can see that there's a lot of problems plaguing Seattle already. This fictional Seattle we have here. You're back! Okay, well, I just wanted to see who would come, but I'm probably gonna stop here now. Bailey's? Oh hey, we're friends with him now, so we see more. Self-summary. Freelance designer, museum and art gallery frequenter, art school graduate, will draw and design for food and shelter. <laughs> Alright. I think this goes by days. So we're on day two right now, and so far, well, not much has really happened, but it's immediately apparent that everybody has their own problems. Although I did get the impression that the section with the boyfriend and the girlfriend, it seemed like they wanted me to see the problem with racism in this fictional Seattle here really, really quickly, and the pacing might be a bit quick. It's a little bit paradoxical, because not much has happened, but at the same time, the pacing is kind of quick too. So far, it doesn't seem like there's any choices that I can make here, but I do have some defining characteristics. I'm apparently rich and I probably have a lot of time on my hands. The coffee mechanics are pretty simplistic, probably because we've only finished the tutorial here. I remember in Red Strings Club, you could choose the amounts of liquid to pour, and you actually get to pour it yourself, which I quite liked. But this one, we kind of just click on a button, and then it adds it in, so I feel like I wish the coffee making was a bit more dynamic, although they do have the latte art section, which is a bit of a mystery to me because I don't know how to work it properly, but hey, it's there. It might be a bit too early to give a verdict on it, but so far, I did enjoy the um, visuals. It looks really nice, and the soundtrack is pretty chill too. Pretty fitting for chilling out in the middle of the night at a coffee shop. Let me know what you think. This was a first look of Coffee Talk with Wellens. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you all in another place, in another time. Bye!